do it. Uh, good afternoon. It's um, 2.30 and uh, I finished my lunch just now, my coffee, and I'm watching Julia scratch her ear. Yes, I finished my morning class. Would you like me to scratch your ear for you? No, you're better at it. You have way sharper nails. Yeah, so I am yay, finished my morning. I have actually started on my afternoon. Hi, sweetie. How's it going? And um, yeah, so I'll, I'll get done my afternoon uh, quite nicely, timely fashion. What was I gonna tell you about? Oh yeah, right. All of a sudden I get a phone call from a dentist place. And I'm going, is that the dentist place that I visited? Why are they calling me? You know, dun, dun, dun. And uh, it wasn't that. It was the dentist who, Julie's playing with what I have the phone leaning up against. A towel. Anyway, um, it was the new dentist who is taking advantage of the dentist sign up above where my dentist used to be and is uh, starting a new practice calling to let me know that uh, this dentist is starting a new practice in the same location and um, well they, they 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 did not buy the practice they simply saw the sign and decided to start a, a new practice there but when they walked in everything was as if my dentist had just walked out. Nail on the floor, all the files, all the equipment, everything in place. So this woman who's you know representative of the or you know probably the receptionist or something of the of the dentist who's taking over there um, said they got in touch with the Royal College of Dentistry and were told that the files were then the property of the patients and she was letting me know that I could have my files. And I went, great, that's what I was interested in and wow, this is so cool. And do you know what the hell happened to my dentist? And she said she's been talking to a few people, well, she's been calling, and she says they have no idea. Uh, some of the people say that he was ill, some of the people Someone said they saw him, you know, on the golf course. Another person said they saw him last week in the grocery store. So, <laughs> I really have no, no idea. So, I'm, I'm going to uh, email back to the College of Dentists and the Royal College and see what they have to say to me. Because this is just way too bizarre. And, you know... I would like to know because I've been going to that dentist since I was less than a teenager. So, uh, childhood. And I, I, I just can't figure out what's going on here. So, very strange. So, it was really neat to get that phone call. And she said, no, it'd be nice if you would like to come. I said, well, you know, um, we have been looking around. We haven't found another dentist. Um just because we have good teeth and we don't need a dentist right now. But um, at the time, we lived in that part of town. I lived in that part of town. And my husband, you know, joined me and we just kept on going to the same dentist. We moved, but we still kept going to the same dentist. But now we have moved and the dentist is obviously gone. So we might as well get a dentist, dentist who's closer to home. So I think we'll do that. So, uh, yeah, I've got, I've got that number, and I'll be picking up uh, my files whenever. 
But anyway, you know, <laughs> that was truly bizarre. So I'll, I'll send an email to the uh, to the, the dental college and see what they have to tell me, if anything. Because obviously they are not telling me anything right now, so very bizarre, very bizarre. Anyway, get back to work, Marta. Ta for now.